In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Chromecast audio group so that you can play your music throughout your entire home from your Google Home Mini to your Chromecast audio to your Google Home Max. Let me show you how it works. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And today I wanna to show you a quick tutorial on how you can use your new Google Home or Google Chromecast audio devices all together. So let's talk about what a Google Chromecast audio device is. So the Google Home, the Google Home Mini, the Google Home Max, all support Chromecast audio. As well as here, we have a Chromecast audio device, so it supports streaming from an app on your phone to the Chromecast audio. So that means it's not just playing a Bluetooth audio from your phone to one of these speakers. Essentially is what happens is when you cast from a device, so let's say like Google Play Music, you click the cast button at the top and choose a speaker, it's going to play that music on that speaker. Now is what happens is the speaker actually goes to the internet and pulls down the audio. It's not Bluetoothing from your phone, so you have a higher quality audio. You also don't have interruptions when you receive a text, the music continues to go. So how do you get this set up? The first thing, you need two different audio enabled devices. So if you had two Google Home Minis, that would work. Or if you have a Google Home Mini and a Chromecast audio device, that will work. Or if you have five Google Home Minis, two Chromecast audios, two Google Home Max, you can pair them all together. Now there are other Chromecast audio enabled devices that aren't a part of the Google Home family. So I have another speaker that is enabled where I can cast music to it. And then there are tons of other partners that have Chromecast audio enabled in the speaker, like different sound bars, many other speakers. So you wanna to check to make sure that your device does support that. So to get started, the first thing that you need to do is head on into the Google Home app. To set up your audio group, you first need to have both of your devices set up and ready to go. If you need help in doing that with any of your Google Home or Chromecast audio, please click the link above. Next, you're gonna head into the Google Home application. Now you're gonna click the Devices tab in the top right-hand corner. Then you need to go through and find one of your audio devices that you want to group together. So here I have one bedroom speaker, I have the living room. I could do any of these, but you just need to start with one. I'm gonna click the Settings, and then I'm gonna click Create Group. Now at the very top, here we can name what the group is. So I'm just gonna say that this is the home audio group. And then down here, we can choose what speakers we want to include. So here I have a bedroom speaker. Here I have the kitchen speaker, which is a Google Home. Here I have the living room speaker, which is a Google Home Mini. Then I have a playroom speaker, which is an audio enabled cast device. Here I have the family room, which is my Google Home Max. Here I have another mini, the office speaker, and then here I have a Chromecast audio. So I want my music to play throughout the entire home, so I am going to group all of those together, and then I'm going to click Save. Once we have created the audio group, we're gonna go back to the devices, so then that group will show up as an audio device. So here at the bottom, you'll see Home Audio Group. I can click this drop down arrow and it will show you all the speakers that you have in that group, and it is ready to cast. If we want to add or remove items from the group, we can click edit group and take away some of the speakers or change the name right there. But now that I have that audio group enabled, now I can go to a device that supports casting like Google Play Music. I can click the cast icon up here. And then here you'll see all the different speakers and devices that you have on your network. But here we see the home audio group. So I'm gonna select home audio group and you will get a notification telling you that those speakers have been connected and then I'm going to click play some music. All right, so that started the music throughout the entire home, which was really great. Now that that works, let's talk about how you can cast just with your voice from your Google Home device. So let's head back into the Google Home app and go into the devices tab, go down to the home audio group. You'll need to click link to account like this one is showing right here. So it says enable voice and control and more. So once you've selected that, it will then allow you to control that group with your voice where I have already done that with my home audio group. Make sure that you have gone through and linked all the Google Home speakers or Chromecast audio speakers to your account in the devices tab. Once linked, this will allow you to control your audio group by voice from your Google Home. Now, once you create a home audio group and it's playing music, you can go to the main menu of the Google Home app. So here you will see the music that is playing. I can easily play it from here or pause. I can also stop it. So 
On Android, it does this cool thing where here at the top, you can actually play it in your notifications. But if you are on an iPhone, you'll need to make sure you go back here into the Google Home app and there is where you can play and pause it. Then if I open up the home audio group, I can see the volume of the whole group. So this is controlling every speaker in the group. And then here we can control the time of the song, we can rewind. And then right here we have playing on seven speakers. So if I open that up, I can choose the individual volume for every single speaker. So I could turn some of those up, turn them down, depending on how they sound. So right here, you can control all of the speaker audio at once individually, or here you can just control the entire group at once. And then here we can add help and feedback, stop casting and open our audio app that we are working with. So this is great because not every music app works through audio when you ask the Google Home, but if you cast from any app, you can cast it throughout your entire home. Now that we have our audio group set up, I'm gonna start some music in here, and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the house and check out the rest of the music, how it's playing, and how you can control it with your voice. So to get started, all you need to do is say the hot word, which is okay Google, or hey Google. So I'm gonna mute those during this whole process. I'll just do a little pop-up on screen. And then you need to say the name of the song you wanna play or playlist, and then to what audio group you want it to go to. Also, if you have multiple speakers nearby, usually it works off of the closest speaker that you have. Hey Google. Play my holiday playlist on Home Audio Group. Sure, playing your Google Play Music playlist called Holiday on Home Audio Group. All right, so here it's playing over here. We hear it's playing on the speaker back there. All right, so there you go. Let's head to the other rooms. All right, so here we have another audio-enabled speaker. It's working on that. Hey, Google. Turn on the basement light. Sure, turning the master bedroom on. There we go. All right, let's head over this way. It's like we got another speaker going right here. Hey Google. Turn on the Christmas tree. There we, so right there we have the Chromecast audio playing. All right, let's head up to the upstairs. Turn on the upstairs Christmas tree. All right, so here it is playing as well, so you can change the volume right on here, or I can just say, hey Google, change the volume to two. So if you want to change the volume, you do need to specify the group that you want to change. Hey Google. Change the volume on home audio group to two. So there it turned down all of the audio group, which works great. And you can also individually control each speaker. So if I just wanted to control this one, I could say change the volume and it will change the volume there. So there you go. The last thing that we need to do to make sure that we're all set up for Christmas is add some little ambience of the fireplace on the TV. Play Fireplace from YouTube on Nexus Player. Now one thing I do need to mention is if you have a Chromecast device where you play video or movies on the TV, that will not work in a home audio group. So if you have any of those devices, it's just not gonna work. You can't pair the audio group and the Chromecast video together. So from our family to yours, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.